This manhole is just one of 25 manholes that were damaged after a gas leak that happened over in Hudson Falls led to a number of underground explosions here in Fort Edward. Now this damage actually leads all the way down the street. It's cracked to Elaine Pagana's house. She was one of hundreds of evacuees. My son said it damaged the picnic table. At 75 years old, Elaine Pagana says she's heard a lot, but the sound of a manhole cover flying through the air and crashing in her front yard is a new one. The crash came. It was really loud. It sounded like a bomb. Pagana was already tucked in bed when the underground explosions started after a gasoline leak got into the sewer system in her village. My dog jumped, and in the kitchen, my dishes fell out of the cupboard, and some of them broke. I had to, and I didn't want to clean the cover because uh, they told us we had to get out of here. Pagana is one of approximately 400 Fort Edward residents that were asked to evacuate after a gasoline leak at the Cumberland Farms in Hudson Falls got into the sewer system, causing a number of explosions. The gasoline going down there with a methane mix and something set it off. We don't know what actually set it off. Once it goes, it goes. Hurlbert says about 25 manhole covers blew right down Broadway. He was standing 15 feet away. Did you see? A lot of flames come out and then a lot of smoke and it was very loud, you know, it really got our attention. We found one of the broken manhole covers here and they are pretty heavy. The firefighters say they weigh about 100 pounds each, but when the explosion happened underground, they flew up into the air like they weighed nothing. Petrified. Oh, my heart was beating so fast. I thought I was going to have the end, you know, an attack. When they tell you it's in your line, you know, your sewer line and it goes into your house, I mean, what's going to happen? but we got lucky. Fire crews and National Grid have been out testing the gasoline fumes around these manholes throughout the day to make sure that this is still a safe environment. For now, we're in Fort Edward. Christine O'Donnell, News 10.